Once you've exited the aircraft, now what? Let's talk about a few of the things that we can work on while we're in free fall. I'm going to cover three major points. Slow fall, forward speed, and stalls. So when it comes to slow fall, that's one of the, fun, that's one of the best parts of flying a wingsuit. We all want to chase that magical number, the slowest we can possibly go. So let's go over a few of the body positions we can use trying to make ourselves fall slower. We want to fall slow, think of it as hugging a beach ball. So you're laying over a beach ball and you want to hug it. We're going to focus on using our, our, what, our, what our chest is doing, what our hips are doing, what our legs and arms are doing. We want to be for slow fall, if we're falling in a natural position here, for slow fall I want to take my chest and I want to de-arch chest and hips. I want my legs slightly bent and I want my arms hugging beach ball just a little bit. Chin looking down and now if you notice my body here I'm hugging the air. So I'm using my body along with my wings to, use, to slow down as much as possible. So, when our, in our body position, what we want to do, we're flying normally, our arms are open, legs are open. We want to focus on what our chest is doing, our hips, legs, and our arms. So we want our arms out, slightly de-cupped, chest cupped, hips cupped, just kind of sticking the butt out, knees slightly bent, just like that, chin on your chest. That is the position that you're going to find for slow fall. So let's start in our normal flying position. Legs open, arms out, relaxed. This is our neutral body flying position that you went over and you learned when you, first, when you did your first flight course. For slow fall, okay, we want to push up on our toes, taking the ball of our feet off the ground. Arms out, we're going to go ahead and pull our arms down and hug the beach ball. We're going to push our chest and hips back, sticking your butt out. Is your butt out far enough? Stick it out further. Chest back, chin on your chest, down, knees slightly bent. The slight bend of the knees actually induces a little bit of drag for the forward speed, slowing you down enough to make you more like a space shuttle. You're actually going to lose forward speed and you're going to lose vertical speed at the same time. So you're going to slow down vertically, but you're also going to slow down forward speed. This is our slow fall position. So again, stand with me. You're going to feel pressure on the back of your calves from standing on your toes. You're going to feel some pressure on your thighs from having your knees bent. Chest back butt back, you're going to feel pressure on the small of your back from having your butt sticking out. We're also going to feel pressure in the shoulder area here from pressing down on the wind. You can also do the exercises we just practiced standing up while you're laying down. You can use anything like a creeper, a raised creeper, an exercise ball, some pillows underneath your core, anything to kind of elevate you, helping you be able to de-arch and get the feeling. Even try it in your wingsuit. If you want to follow along now, you can put your wingsuit on and kind of follow with me to see how it feels while you're in your wingsuit. So to get into the slow fall position, I'm in my wingsuit and I'm flying, I'm neutral right now. To go slow, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on de-arching my chest and my hips, sticking my butt in the air. De-arching the chest and the hips, I'm going to bring my arms down a little bit like I'm hugging a beach ball. My chin is going to go on my chest. My legs are spread all the way apart, toes pointed, but my knees are going to be slightly bent. You want to bend your knees slightly because they induce a little bit of drag, slowing your forward speed and helping your descent rate come down. While we're in the slow fall position, you're going to feel pressure in certain points in the body. It might even feel painful. So when I'm in my slow fall position, I'm going to feel pressure on the back of my calf. I'm going to feel pressure on the back of my quad, the small of my back. You're also going to feel some pressure on the back of your neck. Another place we're going to feel pressure is in the shoulder area while you're pressing down on the wind to get a slower fall rate. One more important thing for slow fall is you want to make sure that your chin is down on your chest while you're flying. When you lift your head up, it's a very good barrier to the air slowing you down. 